All right. Should have started by now. Everybody's going to be late. It's like the way in the past 20 years or so they've done movie theaters. Have to start late to make sure the people that are late can get there on top. The entire idea of doing things is just plain stupid. Anyway. Seeing as this has only ever had one of these before now, and that other one had the task of actually telling us what this was even about, there's no telling how this is going to go. Okay, good. That sound went working for a minute. Hey everyone, I'm Ray from the Stadia team. I'm here today to give you a brief update on Stadia, the new generation gaming platform where you can buy the games you want and put them <clears throat> across your favorite screens. We're also going to reveal more games that you'll be able to play on Stadia starting this November. Instead of needing to buy a console to play your games, we give you access to Google's powerful custom data centers. Our servers are designed with today's most demanding games in mind to ensure your games run at the highest graphical settings and as long as your games are green. Today. You can just fire up Stadia literally to play your the color green. On your TV, desktop, laptop, and select tablets and smartphones. With Stadia, you get some serial spread to more before long. Game downloads, patches, but us cool kids have pixels already anyway. To buy. The days of waiting to download and update a new game are over. Just grab your controller and you're in. To play Stadia, you'll need the Stadia Founders Edition, which you can pre order today for only $129. It comes with three months of Stadia Pro, our premium subscription for you and a friend, a Stadia controller, and a Chromecast Ultra to play on the biggest screen in your home. And as an added bonus, Founders will already have the full Destiny 2 experience in their Stadia library, ready to play from day one. We've had a fantastic response so far and are almost sold out of Founders Edition in some countries. So if you want to be one of the very first gamers on Stadia later this year, you'll need to get your Founders Edition quickly. In our last Stadia Connect, we showed you a collection of launch titles coming to Stadia from the best publishers and developers in the world. And we keep adding more games to the Stadia catalog. Whether you're looking for a mythological storybook adventure in Gods so, and Monsters, Ori and the or Blind Forest coming to Stadia. Specialist in Watch Dogs Legion, Ubisoft has you covered with both games coming to Stadia. So let's get to it. I'm going to pass it off to my friend Shauna, another member of the Stadia team, who will run you through some more big names to add to that list. Hi, I'm Shauna, and I'm excited to share the latest titles we're adding to the Stadia portfolio. My team and I have been traveling all over the world. For years, we've been meeting with the best developers and publishers with the goal of bringing more of your favorite games to Stadia. We've been to Japan, England, Germany, the US, Canada, and most recently, Poland. Our first video is with CD Projekt Red, who are making one of the most anticipated games of 2020. And it's coming to Stadia. Let's take a look. If you replace your body with a machine, are you still human? Is it possible to maintain individualism without any human parts? And maybe that individualism is actually what creates humanity in us. CDPR has always been a company that put a very big emphasis on the story, storytelling, and creating a very strong emotion in players. Oh, sorry. With Cyberpunk, we're adding a whole new sort of pillar to it, which is what we call open-ended gameplay. We have non-linearity in storytelling, non-linearity in the way you explore the world, and now we want to introduce non-linearity in gameplay. You can play your character any way we would like to play it. I like to complete missions in a way that I have managed to outsmart my opponents. And no matter what game it is, I always play big butch characters that kind of plow through everything and all these things have an effect in how your story plays out. The first member of the band, the myth, Johnny Silverhand. Good morning, night. Every game I play is a Psyduck with Dragon Raids. Johnny, Silver. Johnny Silverhand, who's a legend in Night City, a musician, but also an activist. We were creating this character, and as we were 
in the process we realized, hey, it would be really cool if Keanu Reeves could play this character. Keanu is amazing. <laughs> Johnny Silverhand will be our player's guide to the city. I would have used breathtaking. Of the game. Wake up, samurai. We have a city to burn. This project is of a scale that we've never tackled before. The ambition is crazy. Something like Stadia really allows more people to experience our stories. Everyone gets to experience the same awesome story, quest, and locations. It's a very technologically demanding game, but with Stadia, you can actually play Is the audio going out of sync? Of the power of your devices. There are many scenes that people are going to have very strong feelings about. So it was just that one part. I hope that the, lens the audio mix the was just screwed and up. And the lens of the future will show them in an exaggerated <clears throat> way things that are already happening in our society and hopefully our future is going to be better than the grim future of cyberpunk 2077. So it is very important to have neon lights on everything that automatically means you're higher tech Go to cyberpunk.net to find the exact release date of Stadia. I can't wait to have Cyberpunk with me on Stadia wherever I go. In our last connect, we revealed Destiny 2 Shadowkeep to the world. We're happy to have our friends at Bungie back to show you more from the next chapter of Destiny 2's story. Something wicked has awakened. Nightmares plague our galaxy. Your past confronts you, Guardian. Put an end to it. Seen darkness. Not yet. A great battle approaches. A trio of adorable machines decide to follow their hearts and form a band. Help them chase their dreams in the upcoming 3D puzzle platformer, Kine. So how do you make a puzzle, 3D puzzle platformer out of this premise of three adorable machines want to form a band? It's like uh, Cryptid and the Necro Dancer, where you have to move to the beat. Up next is Darksiders Genesis, 
a brand it didn't new really take on a beloved explain. Yeah, here's the Diablo clone spinoff of Darksiders. Seems like these days they call anything with swords a hack and slash game. look at a new exclusive game coming to Stadia, the talented team at Robot Entertainment are here to introduce you to the next installment of their popular franchise, Orcs Must Die. Well, well, well. Take a look at these two apprentices. Kids are doing great, but maybe a few tips from old Max would help. First, that bad boy, see, you want to move him slightly left over to the right 17 degrees, and then also, never mind, just make him go boom. Holy cow, that's a, I'm not good at math, but that's like a billion. Is this even legal? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did the sorceress teach them that? Boom goes the dynamite. Look at those suckers fly. Okay, maybe you're quicker learners than I thought. Ooh, look, they're so pretty. Oh, wow, is that an arm? That's what I'm talking about. Go war major! All right, heroes, you know what to do. Heroes got a hero. And orcs, orcs must die. Three. Hmm. It looks very insurmountable. A 500 mob army. Yeah, let's uh, have this crazy tonal whiplash to go from the trailer to the developer the interview. Design director here at Robot Entertainment. We really just want to make games that people want to play and share with their friends. My name is Patrick Hudson. I'm the CEO of Robot Entertainment. When you're making a, an interactive experience, you know it's going to end up in somebody's hands, and you want them to feel something. You want to connect with that player. That, that matters. That means something to us. I always tell people that Orcs Must Die is a puzzle game. Each level is a puzzle. You're a hero. You're trying to stop a bunch of bad guys from getting into your house. We get a lot of letters, you know. Would you guys make OMD3 already? Just make OMD3. Give us what we want. So we're doing it. I think from Orcs Must Die 3, fans can expect more of everything they love. It's just a bigger setting. The physics are over the top. And so that just creates a really fun landscape for, uh, for orc mayhem and orc destruction. Hey, where are you going, huh? We were invited to check out Stadia back in January of 2018. Google handed us the controllers and allowed us to play an early version of Doom running on Stadia. And it was great. You know, right away, it was a fantastic experience. And you know, I immediately saw it as the next transformative platform coming to the industry. Kind of the same feeling I got when I saw the iPhone coming and what I thought that might mean for games. We knew that we wanted to be a part of it. We noticed the um, when we started actually playing the build on stage. Originally, That's the iPhone was supposed to be a browser-only experience. Kind of Apple was adamant that you weren't going to be able to install any third-party programs on it. So either you're lying or you just That's didn't know what deal. you were talking about. That's a big deal. 
I have always wanted orc scenarios to feel like you can't win, always. In the war scenarios now, you're going to have a 500 mob army in one single wave. And that's not like spread out cleverly, like 50 guys here, 50 guys here, 50. That's 500 orcs. That's what Stadium made possible. You know, you get to this point, you want people to start experiencing it. After 25 years, a classic returns. Get set for Windjammers 2. Yeah, I've seen this one already. Guess you're gonna give us a developer interview after this. Let's take a look at the exciting remake of a cult classic, Destroy All Humans, from THQ Nordic. So no develop interview for that, so it's just basically nothing new. Hello, friends. Have you ever gazed up into the night sky and wondered at the possibility of life on other planets? What marvelous beings I don't need to wonder. Out there, hands extended in friendship awaiting the moment when we humans take our I first tentative steps into space. What tales will be told of that glorious day when we are first contacted by our brothers from beyond the stars. Next, our friends from Warner Brothers are going to tell you about how one of their biggest franchises will be reimagined on Stadia. Hey, my name is Aaron Piepergertis, and I'm the executive producer for Mortal Kombat. We're known for our solid gameplay, our quick, brutal action, and our so reimagined. Like Does that mean Part it's going to be to over over the mobile game version? Story mode. These are characters that people have grown up with, they know, they love, and Mortal Kombat 11 picks up right where Mortal Kombat X left off. You're going to see a lot of returning fan favorite characters. You mean well Mortal Kombat Roman Kombat numeral 10? Let the new era begin. We've also got a time traveling element to the story, so you'll get to see some past versions, present versions, and even some future versions of these favorite characters. It wouldn't be a Mortal Kombat if we didn't have fatalities. And with Mortal Kombat 11, we've got some of the most brutal and over the top that we've ever produced. Making a great fighting game starts with the combat. It's gotta be fluid, it's gotta be fast, it has to be precise. Players spend hours practicing the moves to get that timing just right. What really convinced us to bring Mortal Kombat to Stadia was seeing the fast, fluid gameplay replicated on the platform. With a game like ours that's very important to us, we have a certain quality bar that we have to maintain. And with Stadia, we feel we can achieve that. Since the beginning of development of Mortal Kombat for Stadia, Google has been with us all along the way. They've been a great partner to help us make sure that we're achieving the quality that we expect of our game and that the players expect as well. So one of the reasons we're excited about the Stadia platform and being available on the cloud is just the ease of access for our players. It is exciting. It is legitimately cool to be able to pause the game and then go to your phone and play it on the phone. That's pretty cool. We're very excited to bring Mortal Kombat to Stadia this November. Thanks to Warner Brothers and NetherRealm Studios for this look inside their creative process. We're honored to be a new home for one of gaming's premier franchises. When the world only moves when you move, things get really weird really fast. Immerse yourself in the stylish action of Superhot.
Also coming to Switch, according to Nintendo's thing earlier this morning. So there's just gonna be everywhere. Gears of War 10 from the future. So they're rebuilding the planet after all the wars and farming. In a brand new simulation experience. This is the music you listen to on Spotify or something while you're playing this game with the audio muted. Platinum Edition. That means you can mine for Platinum as well. Okay. Not really my kind of thing. Eyes are dead. Close enough. We can't wait for you to play Grid on Stadia. Let's have a look. Also not really my kind of thing. Wow, those crowds. Looked like PS3 era crowds. <clears throat> I guess you normally aren't focusing too much on those. And you also don't probably, hopefully, don't normally have the camera acting like it's from Resident Evil. Classic. This next one comes from our friends at id Software. One of the fastest and most visceral shooters of the decade is headed to Stadia. So Wolfenstein or Doom? 
imagine. They are no longer your people to save. When was Doom Guy? Sorry, they call him Doom Slayer now. Ever about saving anyone? Attack on Titan. This the one that's already out, or is it a new? Yeah, it's the one that's already about. Seems counterproductive. Technology has suddenly advanced 50 times over. The vast continent of Tamriel awaits. We're thrilled to welcome a stunning and vibrant MMO to Stadia. Fire and fury fill the sky over elsewhere. As ancient powers return, Ravage our world. Hear my call. Heroes and adventurers. Gather your allies and stand against this evil. Rise and fight in the season of the dragon. They uh, already have a built-in lore reason why the dragons uh, respawn after a while. It's because they always respawn if they're killed by somebody who isn't a dragonborn. That's already pre-established lore from the series. The 
trying to make me car sick. I mean, the trailer's memorable, but... It doesn't exactly engender feelings of great, fun gameplay. A little mayhem keeps life interesting. And nobody does mayhem like Gearbox. And now, from our partners at Ubisoft, a new trailer for a game we know you can't wait to play. Vicious terror attack left hundreds dead. Mayor of London has declared a state of emergency. As you can see, London's having a rough time of it. What with these nasty opportunists seizing control. That's where you come in. Welcome to the Resistance. It's up to you to build the perfect team and take the city back. The good news is that any Londoner could become your next recruit. You can play as anyone. And they've all got their own gameplay skills. See this charming chappy? That's Victor. Watch it, you dumb He only takes half the amount of damage after his nectar pint. Or four. Top man! And her, that's Sue, top-notch lawyer. Once in your team, she can get your operatives out of jail automatically. You don't even need to lift a finger. Nice one, Sue. And this is Alan. Old codger and veritable mad bastard. Increased damage with rifles and... Wait. So he shoots harder? R.I.P. Allen. Moving on. Everyone is different, so you have to decide what's best for your team. But why would these fine people want to join you? Well, everyone's got an origin story. I want you to help me get revenge on the gangster that killed my brother. Help them with their problem, and once they trust you, they will become playable characters. Clearly, Each most of London has died off. Is a unique gameplay build. So dust off your sorting hat and so the there's quite a few less civilians than there are now. Unlock new perks. There are thousands of possibilities. Whether you've got a knack for gizmos, or you'd rather stalk people from the shadows, building a team with diverse skills will be critical to your success. Each new recruit will make your team stronger. You can even customize your team members. 
There, what a lovely hat. Of course, accidents can happen. Don't worry. If you're smart, you could always surrender. No shame in that. Anyone got Sue's number? Luckily, our city is filled with millions of people, and any single one of them could be your next recruit. London's calling. Get out there and take it back. Thanks for joining us today. As we move closer to launch in November, we're continuing to add games to the Stadia portfolio. We look forward to sharing more with you in the next Stadia Connect. Does that mean this is over? You don't have one of those one more thing things? Because you you know that's Nintendo's secret sauce, right? All right then. So why does the sound keep going after I hit pause? I'm confused. Anywho, I guess I'm gonna. That doesn't give me any time to do anything, does it? I guess I'll just go offline until the next thing in 20 minutes. So I'll see you then.